Hi and thanks for stopping by to have a look at one of our antique items for sale on our Ruby Lane store. The uh, link is below if you want to have a, uh, a look at all our items on there. Today we're having a look at this lovely um, Georgian cruciform. Um, as we go along I'm going to give you a few uh, hints and tips as well about um, what to look for if you like going around flea markets and antique fairs and things. Um, I'll try and give you a few hints and tips. Um, this is a Georgian piece. How do we know it's Georgian? Well, first of all, let me show you the size actually. There it is in my hand. It's got a big piece. First of all, the setting is a bit of a giveaway. So these sort of crimped edges, um, what we'd call the balloon back setting there. Very, very typically Georgian. It's interesting this piece actually. If you, if you first just sort of came across it, you'd maybe forgive me for thinking it was a modern piece or even a costume piece um, because it's so sort of bright and shiny and lovely and well made. Um, but but it is over 200 years old. Uh, now the the gems, the stones, are actually uh, topaz, imperial topaz. And how do we know that? Well, number one, we've tested them. But actually there is a bit of a giveaway um, when you're looking at uh, antique items and looking at stones. First of all, these four principal stones and these four stones, they're all slightly different and they're all set individually. So slightly different sizes, which is a, a bit of a giveaway. Because if they were glass, they'd all be exactly the same. Also, when you look with a loop or even just with a naked eye, the facets on each of the stones, they're ever so slightly different and ever so slightly irregular. Again, if that wasn't the case, then, you know, if they were too regular, they'd probably be glass. So that's always a good sign on a gemstone if it's slightly irregular when you, uh, when you look at it. But anyway, these ones, they may have been foil backed. That was very common in Georgian times to, uh, to back them with foil to make them shinier. Hard to tell, but they probably are. But they absolutely twinkle like they're like orange diamonds. It's very hard to show on this uh, this video. Um, most Georgian pieces like this would be uh, paste. Georgian paste in its own right is very collectible and very nice. Uh, it's just glass with foil behind it. But these are actually gemstones, which are unusual. So this piece, it would have been very difficult to get your hands on uh, these uh, quality stones back then, 200 years ago, and to have them cut like that. So we think it was probably made for a, a high status person, probably someone in the clergy. Um, and even though it is a devotional piece, it's uh, not overtly so. So you could wear it today and it looks very modern. You could actually wear it as well if you wanted as a necklace, if you put a chain through there. I'll just put it next to the, um, the ruler here, give you an idea of size and scale. So that's it. So I hope you picked up a few tips on uh, identifying Georgian jewellery. This item, like all our items, is for sale on our Ruby Lane shop. If you want to talk to us about any of those, um, or you want to make us an offer on any item, then please do get in touch. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you.